We have one. Good morning, commissioners, fire morning. chief Terrazas, city attorney, Ms. Iniguez, Eric Scott, fire captain, paramedic, and public information officer. Uh, today we do have a presentation to recognize the off-duty actions of engineer Danny Lynch, who selflessly saved multiple homes in his neighborhood during the raging Thomas fire that happened in Ventura County. We're also fortunate today to have Captain Dennis Cameron of the Torrance Fire Department. He was on the Thomas Fire as a strike team, and that's who engineer Lynch had teamed up with. So we feel it's appropriate to ask both of them to please come up and stand near the podium. But the incident took place on December 3rd and 4th in 2017, and Captain Cameron's engine company arrived into the city of Ventura around midnight, which was Engineer Lynch's neighborhood. Now, at this point, upon their nighttime arrival, they had multiple homes that were burning and civilians were working to evacuate out. So fortunately, Danny had his turnouts with him while he was off duty. He approached Captain Cameron on the street, identified himself as an LAFD firefighter, and asked if he could help. So at this point, there was homes on both sides that were on fire of that street. And as you could imagine, due to the, the massive fire resources, were spread very, very thin. So Captain Cameron gave uh, Mr. Lynch some quick direction, and Danny took off. He grabbed a hose line, he went to a house that was just starting to light off, and he swiftly went to work to save it. Sure enough, a few minutes later, he comes back, saying that the flames were in the attic. And this time he needed a pike pole to allow him to pull ceiling to make access to the attic to further extinguishment. He got one, took off again, went back to the house to save it. A few minutes later, he returned again, this time for a chainsaw and a ladder. As you can see, he keeps upgrading his equipment here. <laughs> but this time, Captain Cameron went with Engineer Lynch uh, to check on the progress of the home. And at this point, he had already pulled the ceiling, knocked down the bulk of the fire from the inside, but realized that the roof needed to be open to fully extinguish and to ultimately save that residence. So both these members went to the roof, they cut several holes, and then brought hose lines up to the roof to have that complete uh, extinguishment. And Engineer Lynch spent almost an hour there him, by himself to make sure that that house didn't burn down. But he didn't stop there. His actions continued. At this point, he pulled his hose line down the street to assist firefighters with other homes in his neighborhood that were burning. And he continued to work with the strike team throughout the night until the water supply, as you might remember, ultimately was lost and all companies were forced to retreat. But it's important to mention that the, the Thomas Fire at that time was the largest wildfire in the state of California that they had ever seen at that point. And there was about 240 homes that were threatened in Danny's neighborhood alone. So again, those fire resources were stretched to their max. And so Danny, although at times was required to act alone, which is not normal, he made calculated operational decisions. And this was based upon safety, situational awareness, and he ensured he's wearing full protective personal equipment, and he maintained close communication with the strike team captain. So due to these courageous actions, Engineer Lynch was responsible for saving several homes, and for that, he's to be commended. <clears throat> At this point, we'll read the Certificate of Appreciation to Daniel J. Lynch. In recognition and sincere gratitude for your heroic courage, diligent efforts, personal initiative, and expedient assistance, which directly resulted in saving several structures during a historic wildfire on the morning of December 4th, 2017 in the city of Ventura. The Los Angeles Fire Department commends you for your extraordinary efforts to the citizens of the city of Ventura, California. Presented this second day of October, 2018, Ralph M. Terrazas, Fire Chief. I'm so proud of our firefighters. Uh, we hear of all these outstanding deeds that they perform, 
not only in the city, but when I think about in the, in the past presentations, we had somebody who was on vacation in Australia who saved somebody from a shark attack. We had multiple people in Las Vegas for the Las Vegas shooting, which was the anniversary yesterday, the one year anniversary of that shooting, and many of those people are getting a Medal of Valor. And we have Danny, who closer to home, off duty, he saw a need and he took an action. And the action that he took resulted in the saving of multiple houses, perhaps as many as half a dozen, I'm told. So Danny, we're very, very proud of you. It shows what excellent training you've received from Los Angeles Fire Department and what excellent equipment that you have, right? <laughs> and maybe we should give you an engine because that seems like you're going back to Torrance Engine for all their equipment. But we're very, very proud of you. And uh, I want to turn the mic over to the captain from Torrance, and then we'll let Danny speak. Here you go, Cap. Thank you, Chief. <clears throat> I'll keep it brief. Uh, it was an honor that night to meet uh, Engineer Lynch. He approached me on the street, and uh, as we mentioned, he identified himself as a Los Angeles firefighter, which immediately gave him some street credit uh, because as firefighters, we size each other up. And uh, he looked like he was willing to go to work. He was capable and uh, took him under our command said, hey, just report back to me, don't, don't freelance. And as we mentioned, Chief, he had some calculated risk, uh, but that risk was managed in his actions. Uh, we've covered the tasks he did that night as far as utilizing tools and equipment. He was more than well-trained. He was an expert in his craft, uh, and that, I got to witness that firsthand. What we didn't speak about is what he did that night as he left his home, left his family, grabbed his turnout gear, and went to work without anybody calling him. That speaks to the character of Danny Lynch. Character is something we can't train in our firefighters. We could teach them how to use the tools and equipment. We teach them what to do when responding to emergency, but we don't know if they'll have that character when duty calls. Uh, my department, our motto is a desire to serve, ability to perform, and the courage to act. Danny showed up that night with a desire to serve, he showed me he had the ability to perform, and then he showed me he had the courage to act. Uh, it is true, I got to see him operate, and I truly believe he was responsible for saving multiple houses that night. We were stretched very thin as we rolled into Ventura that night. We figured we'd be rolling into staging or base and then getting assignment. We rolled right into a neighborhood with houses on fire on both sides of the street and just spread out and went to work. Uh, him showing up with an extra hand made a big difference. Uh, I'm honored to be here, and I'm honored to see him get recognized for his actions. He truly deserves it, and I'm glad I got to meet him. Um, thank you, guys. Uh, thank you, Cam Cameron. And thank you, Torrance Fire Department, for letting a uh, off-duty LA City firefighter work with them. Um, you know, I was a... Uh, tragic thing that happened in my own neighborhood, so um, I felt like I had to do something since I was there. Um, thank you to my wife. We can all say happy birthday to her. She showed up. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, it was, it's an honor to be here, uh, honor to receive such an a award from everybody, and uh, it is. It's the training that LAFD has given me and training throughout my childhood that my dad and my parents have given me. So, thank you.